Hi guys, I'm on to do Cells Purple Outhouse Challenge for Auntie Vera Crafting Land group on Facebook and Cell has challenged us to make a belly band for our journals with recycled products um, as well as uh, upcycling with the cupcake liners so <coughs> I am actually going to use this. This is one of Hubby's not winning scratchies that he likes to do. And I thought I'm going to use that for the base of my belly band. Um, I've got it longer because when I put my belly bands down, I like to fold over the edges at the back a little bit. So I can just trim those down. Um, I like to have like a little bit of space underneath instead of having it um, you know just flat on my page like that because I always seem to have trouble putting in my tag if I do it that way so I've got that for the base I've got this um, from my metal eyelets I thought I can punch a circle out for the center of the flower now I haven't got any paint chips and at the moment we are surrounded by floodwaters so I can't just nick out and go to Bunnings and grab some paint chips <laughs> so what I thought I might use now sorry about the glare on this um, I thought I might use I'll put it up that way so it won't give you a shine I thought I might use this Makona um, label off one of my coffees because I really like you know this gold on here and maybe just maybe I might be able to use some of these leaves I don't know okay so I'll just put that one out of the road so it doesn't flash in your eyes okay and get started so I'm going to and I've got my my journal here that we made um, in January sorry about that I'm getting the dust off it and I thought I'd put it over this page because when you've got your belly band it's not going to be this wide guys but when you've got it on there there's a little bit of interest behind um, the belly band so if you take the card out or whatever you're going to slip behind it um, you'll have you'll still have like um, a picture behind it rather than just having a plain page like that but that's like my preference okay so I'll just put that out of the road too and I'm going to cut the belly band down to the size I want I think I need um, a bone folder so that I can press that edge down firmer because I've already got it at the width that I want okay so I'm thinking maybe for mine maybe one one and a half inches or maybe one and a quarter that'll do me one and a quarter so I'm going to cut the height at one and a quarter and I just had to look up to make sure I turned that video camera on and I wasn't talking to myself okay so that is going to be the width and I can just trim these off just so that I've got just a, a little bit here at the back okay now okay so I really like that so what I thought about doing I'm also going to be cutting this up just there the gold off that and I'm going to be gluing it down um, something similar to cell Cell's um, mosaic that she done that looked so good it really did I really liked that one but what I thought first um, I want to get rid of this and just have a plain background so I am actually going to use a 
little bit of my black gesso that I've got here. And I'm just going to paint this. Just give it a, a cover of black gesso. And I think that'll help the the gold gold pieces to stick a little bit better on this too because the card's quite glossy. Okay. So I shall give that a dry now and maybe another okay. coat. I have I have the base for my belly band done. I'm liking that. So I'll just put that to the All side. Right. I brought in my my cupcake liners. I've got quite a few of these really mini ones, but they're mainly all Christmas themed the ones these size so I've got a just a plain pink and blue one that are little then I've got one that's just a little bit bigger um, I've got this one too it's a little bit of decoration and I think I've also got this one is just bigger than that one there so what I'm going to do I don't know <laughs> all right I'm going to um let's let's do a pink one so i want to get that flower shape that cell had and she just folded folded her cupcake liners up I'm not sure um, I think she went one more let me try if I can go one more I'm not sure if I can okay that looks all right and then done a rounded top somehow I might go there okay I think that's going to be all right let's see how this goes okay oh it's not too bad could be better but that'll do me Oops. so I've got that one now if I push that one down that's going to be really big maybe do a lighter pink one in the middle I don't think I'll be using the blue um, or maybe cut that one just a bit smaller than that pink one so I'll fold this one again and cut it. So if I just measure that to there. Alright, so I want it cut the top of it about there. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so there's the white one. So I've got a pink and a white, and then I thought I'd put another pink one in the center there. So I will fold this one and then just cut it a bit smaller than the white one. Hopefully, it will look okay for a flower. So just going to measure the center to there to see where I need to cut so needs to be cut down about there this one's going to be pretty small I'm 
made a, a point there. Ow, nearly cut my fingernail off then. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see how this looks. Okay, so pink, white, and pink. Okay, that looks alright, I think. And then I can punch a hole out of some of this for the center. Just like that. And that can go in there. Alright, so what I might do is actually ink around those first. So I'll grab this is tea dyed and I'll ink around the center. I have my ceiling fan on guys so that's why they're blowing away. The water has just started to recede and we have we have no internet at the moment um, because of all the flooding around us but I can still and I don't know when this video will go up because they reckon our, our nets going to be down like all day to try and get it fixed there's so many that have lost power and so many people have lost their homes oh my god this is the worst flooding I've ever seen. We were very lucky here where Hubby and I are at Tweed. Um, I was just thinking, like I've got a great big gap just there. Um, sorry, got sidetracked. I'll keep doing this until I finish. Yeah, but what I was saying, there's so many people that have lost homes and you know I shouldn't be whinging about having no net but it kind of like that's the only thing hubby has here because he doesn't get out of the house anymore there's my pink one so I thought no I can't sit there and <laughs> I'm watching be depressed I'm going to come in here and do a video so yep Cell's challenge come right at the right time. So thank you, Cell. <laughs> okay. So I've got those done with what I wanted to do. Now, um, I was thinking that that um, gap there is going to bug me a bit, but it's okay. Just get over it, Wendy. All right. So that is my flower so far. I am going to glue those together. Uh, Hubby and I are on high ground where we are in Tweed so we were very very lucky. There's a lot of flooding going around and there's not much not much up at the shops I went up Monday um, just to get some basic stuff and there was hardly anything on the shelves because the, the disaster relief people had been up there and they'd grabbed they had grabbed all the water um, because we are on water restrictions as well at the moment so um, a lot of the tin foods and fruit and vegetables were all gone but that's also because the trucks can't come in because the highway's been flooded as well so we just have to just wait it out until um, until that flooding recedes. Okay, I put a bit too much glue on that, didn't I? But that's okay. Alright, I have my flower. Yay! 
and that's my my band so what I was thinking um, maybe put that in the middle um, now I'm going to I'm going to cut this gold but I will cut it off screen because if I put it under there it's just gonna flash in your eyes guys okay so I will be right back after I've cut some pieces out of this I'm just going to um, I'm just going to use that um, I could turn it over and cut it where it wouldn't bother you that much but I want to make sure I don't cut these leaves when I'm cutting out the other oh I could just do that couldn't I hang on guys I think I could where's my scissors I get a, my, my great big whopping scissors that my sister sent me for my birthday <laughs> all right okay wait there I'm just cutting some of this off so that I can keep those leaves oh, and I'll turn it down that way so it doesn't flash in your eyes because that can be quite annoying okay and I've got a piece there I think that will be enough and I'll think about those leaves later on okay so what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to line it up here. No, I'm not. I want to cut it. Um, I want to cut it so that it's in triangles. Okay, so I'm just going to start cutting a few different shaped triangles. it over so it doesn't flash you I don't think I really need that many because I'm only going to put it on both sides of the flower in like a, a mosaic fashion Made of, I think I only needed one of these, one side of this cut. Okay, let's just do that and see how we go. Now, what can, how can I do that without flashing your eyes? Um, let me see if I come down my way a little bit. I'm going to have the flower there. Okay, that should be okay. Right, the flower is going to go in the centre and I just thought that I would start like gluing these on and I do want to leave a, a bit of a gap between them. So that's what, that's the look I'm going for. Oh, it's flashing. Hang on, I'll bring this up out of my light. Okay, so that's the look I'm going for. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in between those triangles. But I am going to now just um, turn the camera off. And I'll do this off camera so that that doesn't flash in your faces. Okay, I got that... Um, glued down in a fashion um, and I didn't glue the middle like I've got a few squiffy spots there but I'm happy with the the way it's looking anyway okay I thought I might also put a word on my belly band somewhere um, and 
and I've left a space in the center to put my flower okay so I'm going to glue that one on now glue my flower on okay and I do want that on too which I actually think I might like layer it over the top a little bit of my flower just want that flower to stay flat because I don't like a lot of bulk in my in my journals okay so let's have a look oh yep that certainly is different isn't it <laughs> um, yep yeah, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put maybe let me see what that looks like. No, I think I want it coming off my flower a little bit, so I'm just going to put a bit of wet glue on here. Bit of glue. And I think I'm just going to have that coming off there. Okay. Just there. So now I can glue my little flap bits down. Oh, I should have put a bit of double sided tape on before I put my glue on, but that's okay. I normally do that, put a little bit of double sided tape on and then um, a wet glue. Okay, so where do I want it? Just about there, I think. So I'll press that down, just like that, and go in just under there and make sure that they are pressed down nicely. Okay. And I also got out. Um, my gold stickles which I thought I might put a little bit in the center alright so I've got some stickles in the center and I think um, I don't know if I'm going to muck it up but just thinking I might like to just put a few little marks around the center I did I hit the glue for the stickles but that's okay all right I like that that looks pretty cool So there is my belly band for Cells Challenge. Okay, so I found I found a few other tags that I made the other day. These are just little fairy tags, um, but I don't have a pink one. But that's okay. I can just use one of these. I actually, think I might use that one there. Okay. So. I can put a couple of tags, or I could put a tag in and maybe a postcard in underneath, which is why I actually like having that that fold with my belly bands because you can add just more than one thing in there. Okay, all right, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you're interested, in joining Auntie Vera Crafting Land just go over on Facebook and search Auntie Vera Crafting Land we have changed the name just recently and you should find it <coughs> so you've just got I think one question to answer to join okay and we're having uh, we have a mixed media challenge and a junk journal challenge at the beginning of every month and then 
a couple of weeks after that we put in an on the side challenge just for something else to do but oh I like that that looks lovely okay thanks everyone you have a great day and I will catch you later I hope that gold didn't shine in your eyes too much oh I like that that looks lovely okay bye bye